and welcome everybody here in Twitch Chats and everybody on YouTube. For some Chandra Tribal. We meant to play this deck yesterday, but unfortunately the, co the cord in my mic stopped working uh, yesterday. It broke, and so we had to delay until today. But we're back. That's why there's only the two videos on YouTube yesterday. Um, my mic went out, um, but we went to the store, got some, got some new cords and everything, so we're good to go. Um, but yeah, so we're going to play Chandra Tribal. We're going to try this deck. Uh, for the first time since the Oko banning, which certainly helps this deck. This deck really struggled with beating Oko because how it kills everything is by damage. You know, like that's this is just a red deck. It's trying to do damage. And Oko just has so much loyalty that it's really too hard to kill with damage and just can keep on bringing 3-3 threats over and over again. And you, it has too much loyalty to kill. And it was so that made that really, really difficult. But hopefully uh, we can... Um, kind of handle all the stuff that's happening in the metagame right now. The backbone of our deck is obviously all of our Chandra cards. Um, that's, you know, these are like, these are just our, our win conditions. There are value engines, everything like that. And it's all built around Chandra's regulator. So we can spend one mana to be able to activate the loyalty abilities of a Planeswalker twice, basically, because, you know, we get to copy that ability. So if we um you know make uh the second zero here we put two one ones into play to attack we can pay one mana and we make four one ones for example so there's the four one one on that uh also we're playing 24 mountains as you can see here because we need we need lots of land drops because you see our curve's pretty high we always want to hit four or five or you know even six land drops having the extra mana because you you know it's one extra mana to use to regulate so having extra mana is not really a bad thing so we don't want to get stuck on lands. That's why we're playing 26 lands. And there's a lot of cool lands that we could be playing. You know, we could be playing Blast Zone, which is a, a good land these days. Interplanar Beacon, uh, just to play them to gain life with these different Planeswalkers and stuff. And, um, you know, there's even like the Red Castle that could help out the Chandra Zero and things like that. But we're choosing to play all of these mountains. The reason why we want just 24 mountains is because mountains are very valuable. Because if we are flooding out, we can use the Regulator to... Uh, discard a mountain or a red card and draw a card so we want mountains to be able to discard to regulator so you know like if we're in top deck mode late in the game if we draw a land and we don't need a land we want to be able to loot away that land so we don't want to like draw a land and it's a castle and then you're like well we can't loot away this castle so i guess we'll just play it and you know we want to be able to loot away our lands if we if need be so that's why we're playing all sorts of mountains um, besides that, uh, Chandra Novice Pyromancer is always like a really, really important one because that minus one ability, being able to add extra red mana, um, especially how you can uh, do that and copy it. So you can basically make it um, three, you know, minus one, add three red mana. You know, so you, you get, so like the minus one is just Black Lotus um, when you have a, a Chandra's Regulator in play. And, and by the way, Black Lotus is a pretty good card. And so that extra mana allows us to, you know, ramp up into these six drops or allows us to double, triple spell with all sorts of cheap um, red spells as well. A couple of mobilized districts to do some attacking and blocking um, to kind of help protect our, our planeswalkers. Um, you see here, I'm not, I don't really want to play creatures in the main deck. I have a Bone Crusher Giant. I thought about playing more Bone Crusher Giants instead of Dragon Fires. But I think the uh, Exile is really important. Our deck does a good job of doing two damage between Flame Sweep and Shock anyway. So we already have a lot of things that do two damage. Where Dragonfire does three. And then, of course, the Exile, like I was saying, important. The Triumphs are just an auto keep because they can do five damage with a Chandra in play. That's just so much damage. We've got to keep those. So I only have the one Bone Crusher Giant. That being like the only creature here all the creature removal that my opponent's playing is going to be basically be dead game one unless we have just that one bone crusher giant in play um and so oh yeah my gain was really messed up because i was messing with my mic before so uh yeah that that should hopefully sound a lot better now um anyway uh so yeah the one the one bone crusher giant um, in there, but hopefully we can kind of blank our opponent's removal, and that's why I'm not really playing Torbrand in the main deck. So hopefully, like we we blank our opponent's removal game one, games two and three, they take out the removal. We bring in Torbrands, and they're not really expecting the Torbrands, and the Torbrands uh, do a whole lot. But if I just play them game one, you know, they they just like use their removal spell on a game one, um, 
And plus, Torbrand's going to be really good against creature decks. Also, this is going to really help out against, like, the creature matchup. So, like, we're going to be bringing, like, basically replacing Fire Artisan, which is not good against creatures, and bringing in Torbran. Um, that's going to be a replacement against creatures. And then War Boss is really good against non-creature decks. So decks that aren't playing creatures will take out, like, some Flame Sweeps, some Shocks, some Dragon Fires, stuff like that, be bringing in War Bosses there. All right, so we're gonna let's uh, go ahead and start. We're gonna be playing until we win five or lose two. See what happens first. Uh, yeah, just playing playing a bunch of standard today. Thanks, Storm. Yeah, Torbrand could probably help in best of one. Yeah, you could you could try taking out some some. Uh, Fire Artisans for Torbran, or even, yeah, even taking out the Ugin. Because the Ugin does a great job of killing large things that you can't really kill with damage. Alright, we're keeping our three lands. So, we have two cho choices. The third Chandra's Triumph or the first Flame Sweep. There's a better chance that Chandra's Triumph is going to be good against our opponent. But obviously, it could be Regretting that, depending on what they're playing. Hey, Escoria. Yeah, yesterday we just ended the stream early. Um, Cause I had technical difficulties with my microphone. The, the cord with the microphone stopped working. So I had to go get a new cord. But we're back at it. Got a new cord. Everything's good. Hey, Giovanni. All right, good. Hidden land drops. Uh, should have waited. Could have dragon fired that Midnight Reaper. This is why we have 26 Landstorm. Gotta hit land drops. Sweet. So I could activate Mobilize District to block. It's a 3-3. This is a 1-1. One, one, but that whole Death Touch thing makes that plan not so good. Plus, if they're they're not really playing other things, they're likely holding on to some removal. Get out of here. Oh. Oh, you meant how we're a 26 land deck. And, yeah, our... First hand only had one land. And you're like, what's the deal with that? Yeah, th thanks to James. Yeah, we got the board. This this deck is all 75 have the borderless arts. That's awesome. Um, I would if they have planeswalker removal, which is likely. I would rather they kill Chandra than Ugin. So we'll lead with Chandra. I need some and you look just the, the emblem's just not not valuable. No pressure. I could get rid of the one one, but that's also just not really that valuable. But the, this first emblem, you know, like they're attacking for one with this vampire. This first emblem just isn't gonna make a difference in the game. Like it's not like we're gonna win in twenty four turns because of this emblem. Curiosity and wonder drive civilization. 
secrets manifest before you. No, I took care of it last night, European man, so we're, we're good. But yeah, I got, I got a, a new cord and a backup cord. So, as, as far as I can tell... Alright, so I don't want another... Ugh, they got me with Othakaya. To say I, I don't want another play crafter to kill my like if I if I block then a play crafter kills my Ugin, and I didn't exactly think they were gonna have instant speed interaction, but they did. Or not instant speed, sorry, sorry, uh, direct damage. Did not expect them to have direct damage. Double your life total. Sure. Chandra well, I should not attack that mobilized cool. district. Hey, you guys are great. I just kind of let auto tap tap that, but I could have attacked with the district. All right, 35. Like I said, this thing just doesn't really matter. D. Ooh. So I have just the perfect amount of mana to cast both of these from the graveyard. Tell me if you've seen this one before. All right, they have an abundance of life to be able to use with the Doom Whisperer. Remember this one? Let's light it up! Alright, well good news we get to loot away this mountain now. Bad news if they have a third playcrafter. They just they just put a playcrafter in their graveyard. Huh. Alright, well, they can't really get creatures with this, but just the whole plus one, minus one. Ooh, combo time. Okay, let's see, wait. If I have four, activate. Ah, uh, one off. Alright, well. Be afraid, wizard. Oh, wait. These are all going to die. Right. Hmm. Combo not online. We can do this study? Focus? I just want to burn stuff already. Uh, I'll just get some more loyalty counters. <laughs> yeah. I was like, oh, we're going to make... Because, like, the combo is, you know, you make four 1-1s, one and then you give them all plus 2, plus 0, you can do 20 damage. But 1-1s one um, with Ethereal Absolution don't really matter. Wait, why'd they get rid of the Ugin and not the Chandra's Triumph, like the card I can actually cast? That's weird. Um... All right, of course, we're keeping this in hand to loot away. Okay, hold on. Whoosh! Up in flames! We can do it 
fire spreads fast with help. Maybe this awakened inferno emblem is gonna get him. <laughs> yeah, I just need need more big Chandras to get more emblems. That's all we need right now. Yes, the emblem yep, the emblem is colorless. It's a pretty cool looking emblem too. We basically get get infinite four damage every turn from this thing because we can just do we can do two damage and copy it and then we just do put two you know put a loyalty counter on it and counter it so we just never so like this will just doesn't go down in loyalty because the minus two then put two back on it so we're doing like four damage a turn with these and our emblem so you know we do have a real clock on over here I know. I, I hope my opponents not dis didn't disconnect. Hopefully they get back in here. That's been a fun fun match. <laughs> yeah, the em yeah. So the emblem does not. Yeah, Torbrian does not make this do three damage. Yeah, that is also true. Yep. Yep, the emblem... Yeah, the opponent owns this emblem because it says it deals one damage to you. So the opponent's the person that owns this emblem. We don't. And Torbrand, so it's not a source that we would control anyway. So Torbrand wouldn't work in that sense either. I learned that the hard way when I tried to kill a Torbrand with a Justice Strike. Yep. Correct. No way to deal with emblems at all. I I don't think my opponent is just like per, like roping because they're upset. I, I think they they actually just got disconnected. Like I think that's probably what happened here. Like that that certainly happens at some time at points, and I think that's what happened here. Like I've yeah, you know, it's happened to me. At different points too, like you know, like internet shut off or whatever, and you know, power went out. We're in the winter. It's winter time somewhere. Well, Torbran also says that it only does your sources do extra damage to stuff your opponent controls, right? Yeah, it's a source you control will deal damage to something an opponent controls. It doubles it. So just a strike. It's like their thing's doing damage to their own thing. So like, like Torbran doesn't die to your flame sweep. Your flame sweep isn't gonna doesn't double it and kill your your own Torbran. Even though it doubles for your opponent. It does like 4 damage to all their stuff and 2 damage to all your stuff. So that's a pretty neat party trick. All right, so plenty of ways to deal with this thing. I think I want to exile it, so we're gonna go with this. I don't want them getting it back. Bleh. Hmm. 
It always hurts discarding a 6-drop. That's where we are, though. We're not going to do we both sacrifice a creature. Oh, I should have. I could have just played the land. I was thinking like I wanted to save the land so they didn't kill. I, I, yeah, been a little bit. So I played. If I would have played the land, then I could have copied the the two damage and dealt four damage. And I could have killed the, the master of pranks over there. What's up, Balding Yeti? Uh, yep, should have done that. Got punished there. That's okay. I recognize my mistake. I won't make that mistake again. It's been it's been a minute since I've played Shanta Tribal. It's been a minute. Wow. Just main deck return to nature. Well, that whole play just kind of messed everything up for me, honestly. I'm going to take out two Fire Artisans for two Torbran. Ugin's a little expensive here too, though. I'm going to play a third Flame Sweep over the Bone Crusher. Bone Crusher does a good job blocking Questing Beast if we can get it to that. If I could have discarded, U like last game, if I could have discarded Ugin instead of Awakened Inferno, I would have. And that, that would have been a big difference if you know, that turn I played Ugin, it went down to one loyalty after minusing. If I would have played Chandra, it would have been to two loyalty after minusing, and we would have exiled the Questing Beast. Now, 
that would have been a huge difference being able to have Chandra, not Ugin. All right, well, not doing that play to get rid of the rankle. Well, Chandra helps you hit your land drops and find more removal and things like that. The Fire Artisan. I hit something to get a stop. Okay, there. That's what I hit to get a stop. I don't think it's a bad card. There are scenarios, like, when you're behind, that it doesn't help you. This is a tough matchup. Like I I always say this every time I play against it. This this Golgari deck is good against control. They have a lot of you know, a lot of recursive things, you know, like the discard threats that draw them a lot of cards. It's always a difficult deck to beat with control. So making that mistake that I did the first game is not really something that I can afford in this kind of matchup. See, this would be a great time for Fire Artisan, like where you, you just you know want to hit more land drops and everything and get farther into the deck. That would have been a great time for Fire Artisan. I don't think there is a be best deck right now. There's nothing that I necessarily consider the best deck right now. Anyone need a fire started? No? Too bad. Say hi to my fiery friends. I guess I could have gone... So I, I went with making the two things just to do damage because of... Because I thought, like, how they just weren't playing anything, I thought it was pretty likely they just had Midnight Reaper, and they were just going to kill my Planeswalker, and so I wanted to get some damage in first. But I guess, because of Questing Beast, maybe I should have just put a counter on it, so it wouldn't die immediately to a Questing Beast. We can do this together. I'll do that. Because, you know, it's two damage. It's not that valuable. Before. Right, I'm gonna keep the rest of mounds in hand. Six is really all we need as far as lands go. But yeah, so much, so much card advantage. to 
think on my feet. Unclear if... Mm, I guess we save it. It's unclear if we fire this off. There's just such a good chance that Chandra's going to be dying anyway the next turn. Spreads fast with help. Chandra, remember that spell. Not to brag, but I'm totally the best fireman. Oh, they're so cute. Well, thankfully me, they flooded out. So they drew nine lands. I mean, I guess I drew seven. They've drawn more cards than I have. They've drawn three more cards, so yeah, they drew two two extra lands. Back in and now. I like to think on my feet. I'm Ooh. That's a good card. to my fiery friends. Well, I guess we'll just put them down to two where we have tons and tons of lethal th lethal cards that we could draw into. Do you do anything special with settings or other software with your blue Yeti mic? No. Not not that I know of. Um I have it for like the pattern on the bottom, I have it set on like the upside down heart. But no, I've never done anything special with any settings saying that yours picks up a lot of extra sound. I've never done anything special.
Do you do you think that our deck has no way to draw extra cards? Because that is not correct. The duress take like the the regulator goes through our our library very quickly. But my opponent cast duress and took my regulator, and I've you know now drawn eleven lands. Including lands on the last four draws, but we don't we don't have no ways to draw extra cards. Hey, Hawkeye. And this game's still not over. All we have to do is just draw a shock. Or a Chandra Novice Pyromancer. We have to draw one of those now. Okay, now the game's over. Unfortunately, that, that Torbran, so that's kind of the problem with Torbran. It just didn't, you know, it, it put a clock on my opponent where they had to find a removal spell for it in, a, you know, in like two turns because it kills them quickly, which, but they did. But, you know, if that, if that Torbran was, was Chandra Fire Artisan, you know, we would have got through a few more cards in our library. So, like, maybe taking out the Fire Artisan for Torbran was, was incorrect. Because Fire Artisan would have let us dig deeper. We would not have been nearly as close to killing my opponent. But Fire Artisan would have got us through more cards. No, we were dead. All right, so what do we got going on over here? Temple Garden, Incubation Druid. It's an Abzan deck. Hey Gary, good morning. City is so 
Constrict. Ooh, hot, 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 hot. This is just gonna. Well, be I hope bad. they don't have another one of those. Because that would kill my novice pyromancer, unfortunately. If I would have kept Dugan over this other dragon fire, you know, we'd have the ability to maybe play it the next turn with the Chandra ramp. I have come for vengeance and blood. Well, I guess that's another questing beast. Card's a problem. That card is definitely a problem. Hey, Gatsby. For our Planeswalker strategy. Okay, well hopefully we get to exile it. Now. If you haven't heard of me, think Chandra's gonna be at two loyalty, which means Chandra does not die to just a, a castle token, which is good. Utterly okay, good. Didn't have any kind of like pump spell. Things. Well, that one's a problem too. Uh, we're getting beat up by four fours. Okay. We're getting beat up by four fours. Let's see. Don't think there's really too much I want to do. Um, I think I need to, you know, I. I usually like killing the mana creatures, but maybe I need to ignore mana creatures more. If I could have just saved, you know, another burn spell and been able to have one more burn spell to team up with the dragon fire. Like if I would have just like not killed the um the Gilda Goose. All right, see what happens. Hopefully we get Chandra's Regulator. It's really the card that makes our deck very powerful. With all the, the looting and then the double Planeswalker activations. It's certainly the card that our entire deck's built around and not having it the last few games has That's made her deck a lot weaker.
Yeah, Lava Coil is better at, than Dragonfire at killing specifically Questing Beast. And, you know, we played against two Questing Beast decks in a row. There's just a lot of... There's a lot of decks that are not Questing Beast decks. And against basically all the other decks, I like Dragonfire more. Um, I like how this is instant speed and kills Planeswalkers. But, yeah, this, this is the card that I took out Lava Coil for where, you know, these last two opponents have had four mana 4-4s, four a lot of those, and Lava Coil would have looked pretty decent. But we could be much greater together. Now, do you see the benefits of peace? You and I are going to take them out. There's no problem. Fire can't solve. <laughs> no. <laughs> Why do you have to be specifically right there, regulator? <laughs> There's you you always tick up Chandra. You never don't tick it up because you can think of it as the same thing as just exiling the bottom card of your library. Like you're just exiling a random card in your library. It's not like, I mean, you know, not that one. It's not like you're like, oh man, I I could miss out on a good draw step. That you're just gonna you're drawing random cards. The reason why I'm playing this instead of one of these other cards is because I want to be able to have the ability to double spell with these next turn. You were not destined to fight. Yeah, you can hit exclamation point decks if you want to see any of the deck lists for the, the later decks, like if you want to see the Abzan Wolves deck list. Um, they're on the Stream Decker page. We've played Abzan Wolves a couple of times on stream before, too, oh, in the last little while. As well, if you want to check out the, the YouTube channel, um, we played in best of one. We started in best of one, then played in best of three as well. Sit back and watch it burn. a bunch of new burn spells to try on you. Find your fires of passion within. Incubation Druid's going to add a ton of mana now because of the Ajani. Consider killing the Incubation Druid because how much mana it can add, but... I think we should probably hold this for a Questing Beast. Or a Garrick. Leave me be, and you'll escape with your life. Maybe. What? Don't you want to like make some wolves first? Turn back. Or you just want a minus six? You can. I. Join the stampede, my companion. That's not too bad. All right, so we need. I guess we don't need a land, but we could use a land. That would, that would be nice, hitting a land drop. What's that smell? Mm. Oh, it's you burning. Remember that spell. Sit back and Land drop would have let me go Torbran and then Chandra minus it to kill that thing. I 
I could have, of course, just gone loyalty counter, though, and then ulti ultimated Chandra. Now do you see the benefits of peace? Hey, Shnan, thanks for the raid. You realize Welcome, everybody, from Shnan stream. We got some Chandra Tribal that we're starting here. Do you see the and we're doing pretty good to start with. I can't believe Mother Ludi gave us homework. I am out of here. There's no problem. We're doing pretty good in this game at least. Alright, there's a bunch of mountains. That's a bunch of bunch of mountains. Bo29 says, thanks for all the quality content. Have a great Thanksgiving, everyone. Uh, thank you so much there, Bo29. Yeah, so we're playing, yeah, so we're playing some standard today. Playing all standard today. Um, playing a lot of good decks. And yeah, starting here with Shonda Tribal. Yeah, Mobilize District is just free to activate right now. I don't know what I don't know what they got over there because it's not like they were playing lands for a while. Maybe they're just maybe they just have more six drops. Hey, these little guys are great. Let's get stoked. I could have played the other Chandra. As well. To go for lethal, but I don't think we I don't think we necessarily have to just um, you know, waste a, a Chandra just in case. Oh my gosh, I just did the wrong thing. Mother Ludi gave us homework. There's no problem. Fire can't solve. Living in a monastery full of firebrands? Hey, these little guys are great. It's elemental here. Yeah, it's still lethal. This just wasted that other one. <laughs> Whoops. Wrong zero. Alright, so they got... This is definitely a wolf deck. A couple of the green white Johnnies. I'm gonna get an extra flame sweep in here and take out a th three mana Chandra. And here we go. Ooh, we got a regulator. It's a good start.
It's a good start. Sorry, sending a message here real quick. Kill that. That would have been a great time for a flame sweep. So do we... Like, the thing about using one of these spells to, to kill a mana creature is, you know, they, they're still going to have a good amount of mana. Um, but it could keep them from playing, you know, like a... Um, a six mana planeswalker, like, this next turn. Kind of should discard this six drop to to keep filling out my hand, but these cards are really powerful. No, I don't. I don't do any coaching. I just do the because I spend all my time with the for magic streaming because you know I stream seven hours a day and you know make decks and everything off stream and so no, I don't. I don't do any coaching. I don't really have. More time for that. I guess I don't have to discard anything. No, I've not tried Iron Crag Feet in any deck. Okay. Uh, Deckmaster should be working right now, as far as I know. No, I don't really have any desire to stream coaching. I, I just. Not it's just kind of too risky to discard, you know, to loot away like a mountain or anything. Because we need to hit that this six land drop for this. Awakened Inferno. I'm going to tick up hoping that we get to untap with Awakened Inferno. The reason why my opponent didn't attack with this Paradise Aww, Druid last turn is because I had the Mobilized ready. District on defense. They couldn't really attack with it. Um, obviously, this is a lot better if I to just kill like the Incubation Druid if they have Planeswalker removal. I'm going to just hope they don't have Planeswalker removal. We get to untap with it and then have these two cards as protection. But obviously, if they have like a Questing Beast, it's going to be rough or a Devout Decree. Um, I wish I would have just minus five that.
Aaron. Thank you so much there, Aaron. Now we can loot away lands. See if we draw a Chandra. That's a Chandra. That'll do. You ready? I'm ready. Let's do this. I don't really need to copy that and get more mana. So like I, I could cast both of these Chandra Triumphs, but I don't really need to. You just play the one. This is just gonna be bad for you. <laughs> yeah, I guess y'all are right. I'm I'm already kinda coaching with saying all the plays. A couple of people different say, said that. <laughs> Yeah, I try talking through all the, the lines and everything as much as I can. It's hard to talk for, for seven hours straight, so I know I there's times where I'm not really saying stuff that I, I wish I was talking more, but it's just difficult to talk the entire time. Well, ugh, don't have the mana now for Chandra. Hmm. That pack ambusher has been really, really good these two games. I will have revenge for House Marco. I don't care. Time for a drink. Really wish I could activate Mobilize District and... Cash on just triumph. Is telling me what to do. So I could I could minus three twice as far as like the deal the deal damage to, to each creature. But then then the Nightpack Ambusher goes to the graveyard and they they bring it back with Soren. By going minus, by by removing one more loyalty from the Chandra, we get to exile that Nightpack Ambusher, so they don't, they can't bring it back. Vitravius, getting that support in also. Thanks to the Risa, Vitravius. Our fifth sub of the day. This is going to be tough to hold on here. I don't have life gain, so we're at two. It's not very much. 
not very much at all. The weak feed the strong. I've seen these tricks before. Sit back and watch it burn. So obviously if they have another nightpack ambush, I'm gonna die. Hopefully they don't. Is it just me? Or is it getting a little oh, looks like someone's getting a little sweaty? Okay. Here we go, triple emblem. <laughs> Good. I want to be able to kill a questing beast or an end step wild pack ambusher. And so that's why I just held on to the shock because I could pair up shock with another removal spell to be able to accomplish that. Yep, we got ones more than zero, so we're not dead yet. Opponent has five emblems, so they're on a five turn clock. Well, that's a that's that's really nerve wracking now because now that used my only defense. My defenses are down. Ah, the goose. That's okay. That thing can be loose. That's fine. Okay, so I'm not going to be attacking with Mobilized District. I can do two damage to this thing to get it out of here, but so they can't just make food all the time. But well, I'll just give them two more emblems. <laughs> no pressure. <laughs> and keep the Chandra loyalty high. Because of Questing Beast, I, I think I need to hold back the district and be able to block with it. Can't really attack and block unless I would not have given him that second emblem and if I would have played this land. I think I, I think it's okay to, that they can have some more food if I, you know, I'm giving them two emblems a turn. They can gain three life a turn with this thing. But the emblems just stack up. And also Chandra just has more loyalty now. And this, of course, forces them to use four mana to gain uh, three life. Because they have to use two to make a food, two to crack a food. So that, that's really going to reduce their um, ability to do other things. <laughs> the Chandra Tommy gun. The Chandra gun. Alright, that's not a big deal. I 
Okay, good. That's some defense. Some instant speed defense. Good. All right. We don't have to really worry about questing beasts now. So I don't really need to... Oh, whoops. <laughs> I was just clicking like, okay. I was, I was going to say I don't really need to spend the one mana to double that up, but oh well. I'm going to be keeping both, keeping open both dragon fires. <laughs> yeah, we got seven emblems. <laughs> you, Chandra's a regulator with, with Chandra. You can get a lot of emblems. All right, well, that's, that's just... Yeah, so that's just lethal. Of course, I mean, they don't know it, but I have lethal now. So I'm killing both of these things, clear out their blockers so we get to attack. Because just giving them nine emblems isn't going to kill them because they can upkeep activate the food. So we need to be able to do an extra three damage. And so this does the extra three damage. And now, even though they can gain three life with the food, they take nine. Boom. So now, like, so, yeah, dragon fire doesn't go. Yeah, we can't, we can't do, we can't target them with dragon fire. And so there's a reason to kill those wolves. Yeah, we were at one for for a while there. <laughs> yeah, you missed the game of the century. <laughs> yeah, we were at one for a while there. It was a tough one. Looks like we got a pack for it, too. Two packs. Let's crack them open. Ooh, not gems. That means we got a, either a wild card or a mythic. Because if it was a rare, we would just get gems. Oh, wild card. Hey, Nug. Yeah, that was a fun game. All right, there's some gems. All right, we'll reset Arena. My computer performance is just getting worse and worse, it feels like. One week. I'll be buying I'll be buying a new computer this weekend. I'll be getting a new computer this weekend. And then it'll take me, you know, a couple of days for it to, to all show up and then build it, put it together, all that kind of stuff. So hopefully towards the end of next week. You know. 10 to 14 days or so. Look at that. No, it, it is my computer. That's what we, we tried like basically everything else. It, it's just my computer. It's, it's too old. And it, um, I don't know what kind of PC I'm buying. I don't know. I have, I have like a cart that has like a bunch of stuff in it that people smarter than me with computers told me to buy. It's it's overkill. I'm getting a a computer that's a, a lot better than what I need it to be, and that's that's what I definitely want because I I don't like these lag problems. You know, this being my my business and everything, like I know it's frustrating people watching on YouTube and y'all you know, on stream and everything, and so. Hopefully it just doesn't happen again. Yeah, so <laughs> so overkill is good. If it still happens, then it ha then the only other thing it could be would be my internet, but hopefully not. Yep, it's tax right off for me. Uh, Lucky Clover and a Beanstalk Giant. That is quite an amazing start. I 
I mean, it's not just the game. It's my computer is doing this because of playing WoW. While recording for YouTube, like it's my computer isn't really handling the the recording while playing because it, it didn't do this whenever I was just a, when I when I um, you know I, I spent like two two like two and a half years just streaming before I started um, recording for YouTube and uploading for YouTube and it wasn't a problem before it's so it, it's definitely my computer my computer can't really handle. The streaming, the playing arena, and the recording. Do I miss playing modern? Not really. I'm still playing magic. Magic's awesome. I like arena a lot more than magic online. And standards, I mean, I, I like standard more than modern, honestly. I always have, like, standards much more of a mid-range format. Modern's a whole lot more of a a glass cannon format. You know, like, ha like have the... Maybe we just don't do this. Maybe I just pass. I could hit like a four mana Chandra though. Standard's a lot more of a, or sorry, Modern's a lot more of a, a format where. Chandra Nalar, Pyromancer Extraordinaire. Mostly. You just hope your deck does like its its homework. awesome thing, and you know maybe your opponent's deck does an awesome thing better, or maybe not. You know, there's there's not like as much back and forth and stuff like that. And, and so I like standard more than modern. Uh, yeah, I don't, I don't understand what you just said, Frank. She's using the Twitch export to YouTube. Oh, well, I mean, that doesn't, yeah, that, that doesn't work, Frank, with how I have the, my music situation. That doesn't work. I'd have to not play any music on Twitch either. I need some yeah, you're the you're the one that broke this cord, Hawkeye. You doing your head button on the mic like you like to do? Hope it's not too hot for you. No, it would not it would not be worth just recording the intro and outro and not not recording the games at all. No, that would that would not be worth it. I think people want to see the games. Uh, no, I, I don't do tournament magic anymore. I did for a while, but... Alright, fair enough. I thought about not playing it. I wasn't exactly sure what they were going to do with some speed, but I, I guess I didn't really think of Bone Crusher Giant. So I wish I did not activate that mobilized district now. See a volcano erupt in person? You're about. Let's get toasty. Yes, I do delete the videos. I delete them every couple of days. I don't delete them immediately after I upload them, but every every couple of days. Hmm. My opponent has more Chandras than I do. Seven's a good amount of mana to have anyway to be able to, you know, double, you know, have a six mana Chandra and then also oh, double up the like emblems.
haven't heard of me, then get ready to meet my flames. Utterly? <laughs> bye bye Well, good thing we kept the extra lands. Hey, SDN. Alright, so at least keep them from giving me an emblem. gonna be a, a tough matchup for us a, a deck that's trying to get a whole just a whole lot of mana and play a whole bunch of huge threats i think this is where this is where i want to war boss it up but yeah prison realm obviously is pretty good against me Not sure if, if like Torbrand's honestly that good. I mean, it can help pair up and take down some big threats, but it's a pretty easy card for them to answer on its own. Um, I mean, yeah, I guess I could dedicate a day just to stream Historic, but I'm planning on just kind of playing a good amount of Historic um, just in general, like, multi, you know, lots of days. It's just right right now we just had, like, the 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 banning with, with Oko, and um, I, haven't, I haven't been able to play a lot of these standard decks that I've wanted to play again, and so I have a lot of standard decks that I've been wanting to play. Um, you know, all five of these decks that we're playing here are decks that I've been wanting to play. Like, tomorrow, tomorrow's best of one day Monday, so we're definitely going to be doing some more historic. We'll do, like, you know, some best of one historic also and, and best of one standard. Um, probably mostly historic tomorrow. I don't know. We'll see. But yeah, tomorrow's best of one day. Monday with that. No, I, I like 26 lands. I think it's it's really important to hit our land drops. Um, sure, sometimes you sometimes you draw lots of lands like that last game, but that's okay. You know, like we got to play our, our six mana Chandra on um, on curve and everything, which is good. You know, like we're we're trying to hit six land drops and get to these things, and that's not easy. I don't like my opponent having turn two Lucky Clover again. Please don't have Fertile Footsteps. Darn it. I mean, that's just that just makes their deck so much more powerful whenever they have Lucky Clover than Beanstalk Giant. It's that's really rough. You know, now this next turn they'll have six mana. Gosh, this is this is really rough. I don't want to discard any of these. I want to keep the Chandra's Triumph for the Love Struck Beast. I want my lands. I want the Sugan. What's my favorite fast food place? Honestly, just not really a, a fan of fast food too much. You know, 
does Chipotle count? If Chipotle counts, that's my answer. I like Chipotle a lot. Yeah, this is just a, a nightmare start for me from my opponent's side. Their turn four <laughs> prison realm plus love struck beast. That's rough. It's hard for me to keep up with that. Yeah, I like Chipotle a lot more than Freebirds. Freebirds is, is good too, but I like Chipotle more. I just like like the rice and the chicken and stuff like that. I like all that stuff more. At Chipotle. Hmm. Freebirds is is basically is just like another Chipotle. It's similar, just you know, like a burrito place. Yeah, so so Orin counts every single creature. Lucky Clover Beanstalk Giant is awesome. Great hands, opponent. GG's. That's why we play 26 lands, though. You saw us getting stuck at 5 lands and having 6 mana walkers. That's why we have 26 lands. But yeah, big big mana green decks that play huge huge threats. Like Beanstalk Giant, that's that's a really tough card for us to beat, especially whenever it, it double rampant growths on turn 3. Um... And then, you know, drops down as, you know, 8, 8, 9, 9, 10, 10 creature. That's, we're all, all damage based. That's just really difficult for us to deal with. So, <laughs> yeah, right on time, Warboss, right on time. Oh, well. Um, but, yes, yeah, so there's Chandra Tribal. Stay away from Beanstalk Giant. The, the beans, especially the Beanstalk Giant Prison Realm deck. Yuck. That was... That was rough. The prison realms also. Um, but besides that, did pretty good. We didn't really play against the, the small creature decks. There's there's still a lot of small creature decks in the format, and our deck does pretty good against them. With all of the, uh, you know, all the cheap removal that's very efficient. And we didn't play against any of those. But then even like the even the control decks, we can do pretty good against with having all these Chandras. You know, just a whole lot of planeswalkers that. Um, if we can resolve any of them against control decks, it's usually not too difficult to resolve a regulator, and, and then it can help take over and, and loot away all these other spells against control. And then obviously, we have four after sideboard of the uncounterable Awakened Inferno and Warboss coming in from the side. But where our deck really struggles is green, ramp, and huge creatures. And we saw that with that last matchup especially pairing that with prison realm that's a tough one hey nice thanks so much for that twitch prime sub all right but there's the return of chandra tribal um the mobilized districts were good for the most part there um dragon fire was pretty good being instant speed i liked that but i feel like maybe i should be playing some lava coils um as well but Chandra's Triumph is hopefully doing five damage it didn't didn't do five damage all the time but oh well 
All right, so there we go. All right, so if you're watching on YouTube, uh, please hit that like and subscribe buttons over there. And of course, leave some comments as well. And I uh, hope, hope you check out my Patreon page if you want to help support my videos. If, if you're watching over on YouTube, I'll put a link over here in the chat. It's just $3 a month. Uh, you don't get you don't get billed whenever you sign up. You only get billed the first of the month also. So I hope you check that out for some written content and just some support for the YouTube videos. All right, but thank you so much for watching some Shanta Tribal, and I'll see you for the next video. Okay, get your butt out of my face, okay? <laughs>